All right guys, I'm back with another video on this uh, trailer build update. As you guys can see, I got this mounted right here. Um, that's my rod tube that I'm gonna be storing all my rods in in transit. Uh, cut it down to eight feet. It's a six inch conduit, or six inch PVC. Um, it was 10 feet, I cut it down to eight. It fits all my rods. I think my longest rod is seven, six. Um, so that was about, I think 40 or $50. And then this kit, the mounting brackets and the lock and door and all that was, uh, I think around 60. So all in all about a hundred bucks. Just got it mounted to the Unistrut. And that's what that side looks like. The other side I mounted some uh, kayak racks, the little J racks, got those from Amazon. All this stuff used to be on top of my 150 on the camper show. I have uh, two sets of these and then the rod tube, all that was on top. As you guys can see, got that mounted on the U-strut as well. The U-strut, um, gotta find a secondary way to mount that, so. Just make me feel a little bit better about it. And that's so I can carry this kayak right here, which is her current uh, Hobie Sport. Hopefully when we get the compass here in the next couple months, it'll also be able to carry that. And the Pro Angler and all our rods and stuff. Uh, okay, so another quick little update I have is the front hatch seal that you find on the 2018s. I found it at Mariner Sales and I've installed it. Uh, that's gonna be my next video. That's gonna be dropping Wednesday. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe and uh, expect that one coming Wednesday. It's already filmed and edited. It's ready to go. This one's going up Saturday. But if you're interested in that, stay tuned. It was $15, it took me about 15 minutes and I'll show you exactly how to install it and everything. And you guys just saw this video where I added the Burley Pro to uh, the garments. The only thing I haven't done, there's two things. Um, I need to change the bearings, need to repack them. I just, I bought it used and I, I don't know the condition of what they are. So I'm just gonna redo them just for, uh, to be safe for longer trips. And then I'm gonna carpet this right here and I have that carpet Right here, I'm not sure if I'll make a video about it. I might just make a video showing you what I did. But those are 10 inch conduit pipes. And I got eight inch by 12 feet carpet. So that should cover both of them pretty good. That just makes it a little bit easier to slide on and off and give it a little extra cushion on the PVC or on the conduit. And then I lowered this a little bit it used to be like, uh, I think right here. So I just brought it down a little bit. So that's just like some uh, extra hole support and kind of keep it centered. But yeah, hopefully uh, this is helping you guys out, maybe giving you some ideas on your trailer if you want a trailer. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions for me, let, please let me know in the comments below. Um, definitely open to them anything that's going to make this better for me is more than welcome i've even played with the idea of adding a rack like a almost like a ladder rack to the trailer so they give me a secondary level to mount stuff maybe a couple more kayaks or another rod tube or whatever but yeah hope you guys enjoyed uh let me know if you have any ideas for me and uh, hopefully this gave you some. I'll see you guys in the next one.